I've read how there's something really quick with a deck of cards. I have here the eight and the nine. Take the cards, and I want you to put them anywhere you want inside the deck. Right there, and right there. Nice and fair. Buried inside the deck, correct? Yep. All right, please count the three for me. One, One two, two, three. Just like that from within the deck, the eight and the nine. That's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> For this trick, you're going to need the nine of spades, eight of clubs, the nine of clubs, and the eight of spades. And the secret behind this trick is that you never really tell them which nine and which eight it is. So it, you know, it gets a little um, confusing for them at the end. So basically what happens is you're going to put one of the eights on the top and one of the nines on the bottom, and you have the other eight and the other nine on top of the deck. You're gonna show them the eight and the nine, but you don't tell them that it's the club and the spades. You don't tell them it's eight of clubs and nine of spades. So you show them really quickly, so they don't really know which one's which. They just know it's the black eight and the black nine. And you have them put the cards anywhere in the center of the deck. So now the situation is you have one of the different eights and one of the different nines on the top and bottom. And to do your reveal, you're gonna squeeze the deck in your right hand, and on the count of three, you're going to just keep squeezing, you're gonna shoot all the cards over. So basically what happens is, as you keep squeezing, it shoots out, it looks like it comes from the middle of the deck, and that's basically a, a different eight and a different nine, but to them, they think of the same card because in the beginning, you didn't really mention which nine it was and which eight it was. And that's the explanation for the eight and the nine trick.